आज तक की खबरें अब तक वेलकम दिस इज जीबीएस हेरल्ड वे योर न्यूज इज आर बिजनेस आई एम ऋषिका अरोरा एट द मॉर्निंग आर bringing you all the exciting updates of gbs have a look at the highlights in a flash inauguration of the new basketball court heritage walk organized to historically significant locations the annual cultural function a rollicking fiesta to mark the end of the year an interactive lecture demonstration on dance by a renowned kathak dancer a visit to delhi heart the magical world of art and artisans graduation day to bid adieu to the class of 2023 basant panchmi celebrations to invoke the blessings of goddess saraswati let's begin with our first news headline over to adya news for all basketball lovers on 4th november 2022 Gyan Bharti Fraternity marked a momentous occasion by inaugurating its new basketball court. The ceremony was attended by the school chairman Shri Gopal Ansal, member of board of governors Mr. Gaurav Mohan Puri and school director Ms. Lata Vaidyanathan along with members of the PTA. The event included inaugural shots by the dignitaries and culminated in a friendly basketball match. On the 16th and 19th of November 2022, the Heritage Club of our school organized heritage walks to Nizamuddin Basti and Humayun's tomb for the students of M1 to SS1 to explore the unexplored and the neglected richness of our country's heritage. The timeless heritage sites enticed the students with a cultural Shahi experience. The school celebrated its 42nd annual function on 3rd December 2022 in style in the presence of the chief guest Dr Namita Ranganathan the guest of honor Padma Shri Ms Pratibha Pralad and the school chairman Shri Gopal Ansar The program dazzled the audience with colorful displays of creativity and musical extravaganza In December 2022, the Delhi International Art Festival presented a Kathak lecture demonstration by Ms. Gauri Diva, the acclaimed dancer, choreographer, and a recipient of the Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar. Accompanying her were the noted musicians Mr. Gangani on the harmonium, Mr. Samiullah Khan on the sarangi, and Mr. Yogesh on the tabla. The mesmerizing performance, accompanied by a detailed description. Help the students understand and relate closely to the art form. Delhi Art, the very heart of Delhi, on 2nd January 2022, provided an opportunity for the students of the middle school to learn about the various art forms often neglected by the public. To unfurl the unknown, the students also interviewed several potters from the pottery market at Hoz Rani to get to know more about their craft. Graduation for the outgoing batch of 2022-23 was celebrated on 18th January 2023. The guest of honor for the occasion was Professor C Rajkumar, the founding Vice Chancellor of OP Jindal Global University, and Mr Gaurav Mohan Puri, member of Board of Governors, who was also present on the occasion. The program drew to a close with the customary passing the flame ceremony. The school celebrated Basant Panchmi on 25th January 2023. The Havan, a yearly ritual, was organized by the Sanskrit department. The staff and the students paid obeisance to Goddess Saraswati on the occasion. Sneak peek into our upcoming events. Preparations are in full swing for the pre-primary annual function. For more updates, let's go on to our correspondent Sartha Kupmanyu. Good morning, Shweta Ma'am. Good morning, Sartha. Uh, Ma'am, we are just here with a quick update on the upcoming pre-primary annual function. So, a couple of questions. What, according to you, is the importance of holding an annual function for the pre-primary students? 
Satsak uh, children and as well as teachers, we all are very eagerly and enthusiastically uh, preparing for the annual function. Now this is a very mega event, though the children have all been you know, participating in the morning assemblies and many other functions. But uh, from a close environment to a big, huge stage is a very different experience to all of them. And uh, uh, let me tell you, all it's a total participation, all children are going to participate. So even the shy ones, they get an opportunity to uh, you know, showcase their talents and they learn from each other. I should focus more here, let me tell you that it's the process that, uh, uh, that is important, not the outcome. You know, small children, when they are participating, they learn from each other. Uh, not only it's a cognitive uh, learning experience for them, uh, it's a very important platform to develop the social and emotional skills also. So I'm sure all children are very enthusiastically waiting to uh, make this event a huge success. And I'm sure this will be something all parents and teachers and management will enjoy. Back in the Let's see what the primary wing has in store for us for the annual exhibition. Rishika, our staff reporter, will now walk the talk with Ms. Anupama Chan, the primary head. Over to you, Rishika. Thank you, Adya. Good morning, ma'am. Good Hope morning, Rishika. Hope you're doing fine. Absolutely fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great, ma'am. Tell me. Can I have a word with you regarding the annual exhibition? Sure, John. How are the preparations going? Well, as you can see, Rishika, you're in the middle of a place where we are having a whole lot of preparation going on. Children as well as the teachers are totally into it and we are working around the clock. Perfect. Could you please showcase some of your exhibits? So right behind you, you can see we have got something which is called the Parts of Plant. And just to see it first here, we've got something great where the children have worked on their own. And many more as you walk around. It's now time to go behind the scenes with the art department. The next is that when the child is working, this is a different color, different tone. What is here? Color, not color, paper, collage. In this way, the child is using this thing. This is the place of paper collage and color. Here, simply, Gandhi, with limited color, limited drawing, limited lines, but very powerful message. Yes, these are the beautiful dawn painting, tribal art, Indian tribal art, made by our primary children. Yes, and another, these are another work done by our middle class students. These are glass painting, very colorful painting, made by our uh, middle class students. Okay. So we called few students and we took out a few scrap metal out of our uh, storeroom and we used that met uh, metal to use uh, to make these birds. So uh, there are lots of different type of tools we found in the storeroom and uh, we asked welder uh, Bhaya to weld each and every part in a form of a bird. So, yeah, that's it. so we called, uh, there were uh, P5 students yeah. who paint these uh, birds and M1 students also who helped us to paint these birds. Thank you. Here our P5 students are busy painting the frog and uh, yeah, Ritika, can you please tell what have we used for the frogs? Yeah, we have used uh, the bristlery bottle and there are two bottles sticked uh, between and then the bottle caps. Lovely, I think we are all very excited to have a look at the exhibition. Yeah. Conversations do matter. Let's see what our school director, Miss Lata Vedyanathan, has to say. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. May I please have a word with you regarding uh, the exhibition at the upcoming uh, school? You want to speak with me? Yes, ma'am. All right. Huh. Ma'am, what do you think uh, the past year has been like and what do you hope to see in the coming session? Exactly what you want to see of yourself. I want you to grow. I want the school to grow. 
I want the kids to have uh, targets, targets that they want to meet and I will therefore fashion myself to do that. I want this question always reversed in your minds that I want this, ma'am will you give me this? Instead of saying the ma'am wants this and you give me this. Ma'am doesn't want anything, ma'am wants to give you what you want. So what is this world like? Towards that, we are in a very happy space. Schools have reopened pan past the pandemic and now I think they are all raring to go. There is so much of energy as bright as the sky is today and as beautiful as the sun is today. And so when we are giving these, uh, uh, given these opportunities, we need to achieve more. We, you and me and us, right? So, uh, what exactly you want me to talk about? Ma'am, we just want you to highlight uh, what the year was like, what do you think uh, could have been done better, what do you hope to see in the coming session? So, uh, what was the year like? To me, it was a very challenging year post-pandemic. The year had shrunk in terms of the number of months available to me uh, to help you learn better. But the joy was that at least I'm having you in front of me, you've all come back to school. So we dealt with what we called the learning gaps right from the junior classes to the senior classes. I think by and large children had stopped social learning, emotional dependence, security and the comfort and the laziness of the home which when it creeps in, it begins to feel right. Which is really not the story of life. Nothing that's comfortable is life itself. So in the coming year, once we have all the space and time, we want to do more, achieve more, learn more, learn well. Learning was not less or more. The, qual the question was, was the quality of learning adequate? Which the children came back with a lot of learning gaps. So we want to bridge that. We want learning to happen joyfully. We want this place to be full of children learning, enjoying, living, breathing well, playing games, doing activities, studying well, writing exams without stress and making beautiful things. And if the forthcoming exhibition is any um, indication of that, it is a story of how we learn. Isn't it? Did you learn by books only in your primary classes in this school? No ma'am. It was mostly through activities that we did outside of the classroom. So that was including, we had PEC, so we were doing physical activity, we were also doing group activities, maybe outside in the auditorium. So you're a non-textbook school, right? Yes. I wish we could say that in our whole school we don't have textbooks. But we are bound by certain rules and rules. But therefore, it's not textbook versus textbook not. It is a story of what is the quality of learning that we are engaging in that lasts a lifetime and enhances itself as we go. That I think has to be the story of a happy learning school and that's what I want the school to be. I agree ma'am, thank you so much. Welcome. The exam season is underway and the countdown for the CBSE board examination 2023 has begun. How well prepared are we to face the onslaught? Over to our principal, Dr. Mudita Sharma. So COVID has completely changed the way teaching and learning happens. Coming back to the physical classroom was a big challenge. In fact, it required all of us to adapt and transform the teaching learning process. With support from all stakeholders, I can say with conviction that the children will rise to the occasion and they will challenge. Not to forget that this is a batch which is going for the board examinations for the first time. So we have to grant them that and not compare them to any of the previous batches. On a lighter note, the children are nowadays are never stressed about their studies. It is the parents and teachers who are stressed. Well, that's all for today. This is Rishika Arora signing off. Hoping to see you yet again very soon with another set of exciting updates.